Okay. Hey, everyone. So if you're like me and you haven't gotten access to chat GPT plugins, which as we saw in the announcement last week, look amazing and allow you to basically connect to external services and have your language model figure out how to do stuff, you know, book flights or make reservations or honestly just stuff that we can't even imagine yet. Right. So we can't do that. The plebs don't have access to that yet, but fortunately there's a very cool open source library called Langchain, which will allow us to, at the very least, what I want to do now is look up something on the internet, right? So um, what I want to do is, as you know, if you go to chat GPT and ask it a question, it can't answer it accurately, right? Because it's trained on older data. And in this case, March 14th was the latest. So I asked it, who won the UFC fight between these two guys, Cheeto Vera and Corey Sanhagen? And as we know, you know, it can't tell us that, right? So how do we go out into Google and figure this out? Well, enter Langchain which allows us to give our models or the LLM a little bit more context, a little bit more knowledge, connect with, what does it say? Sources of computation. And as we saw in the announcement video from OpenAI, there was a Wolfram Alpha example, which you can do here as well. So we're going to mess around with agents and more specifically, we're going to use the, um, the tool, the SERP API. So it says, uh, what does it say for agents? Some applications will not just uh, will require not just a predetermined chain of calls, but potentially an unknown chain that depends on the user's input. In these types of chains, there's an agent which has access to a suite of tools. Now, we're only going to use one tool for now. So it's a very simple use case. And the tool we're going to use is called SERP API. Tools is the, you know, the, the nomenclature that they're using in this project. So here's a list of the tools. Um, we're going to use SERP API. Where is it? Come on, SERP API, SERP API, request, that's very powerful. Tool, search, a search engine. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and ask a question to the internet, right? Um, there's also, okay, here, where you can use the shell, the Python REPL tool, very powerful. And I even saw a Wikipedia one down here. Got a, an unlimited amount of information that your agent can basically figure out how to use. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sign up to SERP API, get an API key from them. It's not free, but you get, I think it's a hundred free queries. So we're going to take advantage of that. And we're also going to get the open AI API key, right? So we'll go back to agents, which is my notebook here. And I'm going to import, we're going to save the open AI API key and the SERP API key as environment variables. And then we're going to import all these libraries and you don't need probably 90% of these, but I'm going to do other stuff later. So I did. So most importantly, you need open AI and Langchain. So get those installed and I'm going to import those. And then we're going to load a couple functions from Langchain. We're going to load up the open AI sort of model wrapper. Um, and then the load tools function and the initialize agent function. So it's a very simple little, um, use case here and we'll instantiate our language model and give it a temperature of well, I did 0 0.2 because I don't want any randomness, right? Um, and then we'll call the load tools function, pass it a list of the tools we want to use and the, the model. And this here, the initialize agent, give these as parameters or arguments. And then the agent is maybe a bit confusing. Why are we using this? And well, I think this is just maybe a general purpose one, but let's go ahead and check this out. Just search, search this, right? There's got to be some docs on this. Um, agents initialize, there it is. Okay, so here's the different types. That's not really, I wanna to go to agents, maybe key concepts. Um, okay, here we go, types of agents. Okay, there's uh, maybe some some that are maybe better for this use case, like the uh, self ask with search, but let's just stick to this one here where it determines which tool to use. And that's fine for now. Zero shot react description. So we'll go back here and just run this. What was the question we had? Who won the Cheeto Vera versus Corey Sandhagen fight? So let's figure that out. See if we can go to Google and answer this question. And it sort of shows you, you know, not what it's thinking, but how it's sort of uh, going through this process. So entering new agent executor chain, I should look up, it's figuring out that it should look up the, um, the query. Okay. And then it's making an observation, heavy one, two scored for Cheeto. So it's really getting all this out of Google documents. It's finding, I'm assuming. So, um, the thought it has is I should look for the final result of the fight. Great. Cause it gets some context here. And then the input is Cheeto Vera versus that. And then it knows that the action is searched. So it's now searching again with, with sort of this observation. And then the final observation it makes is the UFC fight night results. The highlights were that Corey, Corey Sanhagen overwhelmed Cheeto Vera, blah, blah, blah. 
call out when you made a speech afterwards. And then it knows the final answer and it's figured out that Corey Sanhagen won against Cheeto Bear. And I want to see if, what if I do like this, what will happen? And hopefully I didn't exhaust my search calls. Hmm. Will it maybe give me some more, what if we do like 0.7? So maybe some more things like, cause I know that this fight, if we go here was won by a decision. Let's see if it can actually give me this information. Ooh, okay. It did it. We, we opened up the temperature to 0.7 and it ended up answering Corey Sanhagen won the Cheeto Vera versus Cor uh, uh, versus Sanhagen fight via split decision, which I think is accurate. And that's awesome. So you can imagine the power you can, you'll have with this once you can like basically chain stuff together too. It, you know, you can gather all sorts of data. Um, I just think productivity is going to go through the roof with these tools and um, we'll see what kind of plugins come out once, once it's readily available for everybody. I'm sure they're working with a bunch of big companies to integrate plugins. So anyway, that's all for today. We'll probably make more videos on Langchain because it's amazing. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care.